for tonight's performance. trouble now. Then let's proceed.
Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Stand by! Let me out! I need to lower the grid for the show! Several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? Will our honored guest go unharmed? Oh, <laughs> we praise your hearty bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. If he's not wrong... Leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. Intensifies the second time. The hunt now a search for want rather than need.
We found a suitably That's a daisy. gentleman Tom for this Watchley. one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friends. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? Enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear. Burn! 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 Don't hide from me, darling. Just join me for the finale. <laughs> Jacob, my dear, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> A baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? Damn this place from hell to Hackney. Damn 
this place from hell to Hackney. bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupine has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. We will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Berg crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. <laughs> Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, 
someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. The nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child. Today's your lucky day. And how are you? Cold. Steady on. Yeah! 
That's the way. happened to have seen two carriages pass by here just now. I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. private party event. Don't mind if I do. Parliament taking care of your children. Yeah. <laughs> 
streets aren't safe. Uh, Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still... Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Stand back and let me rest a moment. Now is my chance. Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Oh! <laughs> 
and should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. I do what I want to do. Which you got there? Where did you buy it? If if you don't mind me asking. Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes. And your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's ball tonight. How did you come by that, Freddy? There's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> 
in my sights! Are you making this harder on yourself? Don't want to get blood on the uniform. Charming. Now to hide the body. Ready? Here I come.
One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. 